tickets at the machine a German lady helped us very nice I didn't I just was stressed so um, <laughs> a little bit <laughs> so now we're waiting for our train it's gonna arrive anytime towards Salzburg and it's the last time we have to take and then we'll be there around two o'clock and then hopefully check in the hostel and take a little nice nap wherever we don't care Morning. We arrived at the hostel yesterday at two o'clock at night, and we tried to get a room for this day. We have a room for the next two days, but there was not any bed available for us. So, long story short, we didn't know where we could sleep. But luckily for us, the hostel let us sleep right here. This is our bed. <laughs> very wooden, very comfortable. Not comfy, but it was alright. I mean, better than outside. And um, we're gonna explore Salzburg today. We have a city map with all the cool stuff to do in Salzburg. And we're gonna probably get a beer somewhere and try some Austrian food. And then tomorrow, we're gonna focus on the sound of music. Tonight, there's a showing at 8 at the hostel, which we're gonna see. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see and explore the city more. What about you, Paul? Sorry. Are you excited to see something of the city? Yeah. He's mostly excited about the beer. But um, yeah, stay tuned if you want to see more of Salzburg City. Bishop, who was later arrested and turned out to be locked up right there, which really sucked because he could totally see what was once his, the beautiful gardens and the whole palace from his cell right there. That's the ultimate revenge and I don't know exactly why he was locked up, but it seems pretty shitty if you're locked up right there and you can see all this stuff was once yours. So in this garden you can see all the garden gnomes, these are the oldest in Europe actually. They also featured in the Sound of Music movie as like the Palace of Mirabelle where we just went. And you can see that it's very old and very stunning and that spider is very, very creepy. Mm -hmm. 
Mozart's birthplace, his house where he lived. But these thingies doing the tour. It's pretty cool. If you want to get to the house where Mozart was born, you have to cross this beautiful bridge and you have to go to the older historical part of Salzburg. The walk itself is already pretty and beautiful. You can see so many Mozart Kugeln, which are like chocolate things with something inside. It's really good, it's really nice. You should definitely check it out. And then you can see the house where he's born. You just walk right into it, basically. saw his hair, the kitchen, the place where he was born, and we learned more about his life. It was very interesting to hear how his life was before and how he grew up to be such an amazing musician. Not far away from Mozart's birthplace, there is the Getreidegasse. It's a street which is from a fairy tale movie, I swear. It's beautiful with all the signs so authentic and old. And wandering around here by day but also by night is really a big recommendation. It will get you back to the 1900s or earlier even. It is stunning. So we just ate here at the Zwesslers. It's really good. You can drink half a liter of beer and it's a lot, but it's good. And we both had a wiener schnitzel, which is really, really good. It got this recommended by one of the locals. So that's why we went here. It's really nice. You have to go into a basement. There's no reception. There's German people. It's really fun. And it's a lot of food. Right, Paul? Yes. It's cool. It's cool. Go there. Go there. Close to the old center of Salzburg, you have the fortress. You can see it from actually pretty much everywhere in Salzburg. It's high up a hill. You can choose to hike up there, which is going to take you a little bit. Or you can take a trolley that takes you, like kind of a train. It takes you all the way up there in about 30 seconds or a bit more. Here to the fortress, I would recommend you to take the cable card because it's like two minutes, and then you have this beautiful view for Salzburg. And otherwise, you have to hike all this way up, which is possible, but you know, probably not the chillest hike of your life. And then you can see all this beauty right here. So, if you come to Salzburg. Take the cable cart and see the fortress.
I don't know which century it's from, but it's one of the oldest in the whole wide world and it's present, like, preserved this way. As you can see, it's, um, I don't know if I can film here, so I'm just trying to be very quiet before the whole group comes in. But look at all this Top of a mountain, not nah, really. We're on top of a castle. It's really high up. Close to the cable car, if you come down the mountain from the fortress, there is the St. Peter's Cemetery, one of the oldest in Europe and very special one. It's also the inspiration for the Sound of Music Cemetery, where the Von Trapp family in the Sound of Music hides from the Nazis when they want to chase them. It is a beautiful, peaceful place and it's very interesting to visit. There's also a little church where you can light a candle, which was very pretty. And yes, this is where I'm going to end this vlog for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my first part of the Salzburg experience. And when we were on our way to the hostel, we walked again through this beautiful city. Stunning. Please visit Salzburg. You will not regret it. <laughs>